Alright, welcome back to another week of Game Developers Club! <laughs> yeah, I drank coffee this morning. Alright, so we're going to kind of pick up what we left off with on Monday, I guess not last week. Uh, we were just sort of talking about game ideas and concepts, and I wrote up a tiny little thing in my marketing class today because I was bored. And just like a few things that I was thinking we should, we should hint on, at least start maybe talking about, maybe sort of generalizing our game. Uh, later in this meeting, I mean, probably in like maybe 20 or 30 minutes, we'll start talking about uh, if we're going to be doing new officers or anything along that sort, but we won't worry about that for now. Uh, so a couple things I wrote down was, one thing that's going to be huge is the time frame. We need to decide when our game is going to be taking place. Like, do we want it to be past? Do we want it to be future? Do we want it to be like a steampunk sort of thing? We could do that. We could do... I mean, you know, we can go anywhere with it. So I want to leave this here for now. Leave it kind of broad and open. Uh, I had a few other things too, like we're going to start thinking about our starting items. The things that... Alright, so we're, we're all still on board though with this idea, right? That we're going to be this adventurer who is going to some location unknown and his plane crashes or his ship crashes or something happens and he loses the majority of his traveling gear and he's now waking up on like a beach and he has to find all the stuff on this island throughout sort of a non-violent adventure game, right? We're all still on board with that. So what we were talking about last, last Monday. Okay, so we're gonna need a time frame. Now, I was thinking we could have something like starting items that'll help us in our adventure. Maybe maybe you begin with like maybe like a map or like I guess that'd probably be a little too too powerful if you start out with a map. But maybe you could do uh, you know something like that. So we got the starting items. We're also gonna put the items. That you need to gather. Gather. And I was thinking we could have like you know, a column here for it, a column here for it, and then in the middle right here, I was going to do, just do like sort of a sort of like a fake map of like our island. I mean, it obviously doesn't have to be shaped like this, but just something, right? And so what do you guys think? What do you guys think, um, where should we start? Let's, let's just pretend this is our map for now, it's pretty rough. So you guys thinking, where do you think we could start a location? I think that, I think that would be maybe through some way of building a radio frequency or making a boat or or getting, building some kind of flare gun. I think it'd be cool if we added like a nice building concept to the game. Sort of played into that. Yes, I love that. I love that having multiple endings. I think that, that'd be really good. Sort of let the player figure it out for themselves. That way, that way everyone, that way you can play through it multiple times and kind of get a different experience each time you play it, if you want to play it a little differently. Right? Like that idea, that's good. So you, you said beach? Yeah. Beach, I think that's probably most iconic. Okay. Or we could also do it, um, you start in a random spot each time you start your game. You can do something like that, right? So, yeah, I wouldn't purely randomize it, but right, there'd be a few different random choices of starting location nodes that you'd have. Yeah, like the beach could be one, or you could, you know, like wake up like stuck in a tree and like the shell of an airplane that you crashed in, or like maybe you got picked up by the native tribes there, they brought you to their village, and now you're starting off in like a cage and you gotta figure out your way out of this cage, right? Something like that. But Yeah. I like that idea. What if we cut this island in half and we made it into two islands and then you can start on this island. Maybe you just like, maybe let's just say you started on this beach, right? And on this beach you gotta find like, there's something here you gotta find, there's something here you gotta find, there's something here you gotta find. And then ultimately the goal will be to find these little pieces and create some form of boat. Some like small, not boat, not boat, boat, but like some like, tiny little raft you can get, you know, across this water to the bigger island to get the rest of your stuff. Maybe there's like a giant radio tower here 
Sorry, that's supposed to be some form of radio. <laughs> I had to draw one. But, you know, and so you can see that. Maybe you can start and you can see that way off in the distance. You can see, like, maybe some, like, I don't know. We have to have a huge draw distance, so maybe not. But, you know, that's an idea. Would you guys, do you guys think that that'd be cool? Do you guys think that a crafting element would be fun for this game? Yeah. I think that it could add a little more depth. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll leave that one.